There was nothing about the starry sky that night to suggest that strange and mysterious things would soon be happening. As unsuspecting muggles slept, a huge motorbike with a giant astride it tumbled down from the darkness. The giant, named Hagrid, left a blanket-wrapped bundle on the doorstep of number four, Privet Drive. Nestled in the bundle was a baby, Harry Potter, the boy who lived. For the next 11 years, Harry lived with his dreadful step-parents, the Dursleys. Until that fateful day, when he received the letter inviting him to attend Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry, Hagrid took Harry to Diagon Alley to purchase a most unusual list of school supplies. Soon after, Harry caught the Hogwarts Express from Platform 9 and 3 quarters and left the Muggle world far behind. Harry sat beneath the sorting hat, hoping that he would not be chosen for Slytherin House over Gryffindor. Not Slytherin, eh? said the hat in his ear. You could be great. It's all here in your head, and Slytherin will help you on your way to greatness. No? Well, if you're sure, better be... Gryffindor! Welcome to Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. I am Albus Dumbledore, your headmaster. Now, Hogwarts is full of secrets, Harry, so search behind every door. But keep in mind, not all secrets are rewarding. Oh, um, which reminds me, uh, the third floor corridor is out of bounds to everyone who does not wish to suffer a most painful death. By the look of that scar, you must be Harry Potter. I'm Fred Weasley, and this is my brother, George. Hello there, Harry. We have a proposal for you. In Hogwarts, there are special portraits, and behind these special portraits are prizes. But of course, not just anyone can open up the portraits. You need to know the password. If you bring us earwax every flavour beans, we'll tell you the password. We'll be in the Gryffindor common room, which is through the portrait of the fat lady. See you around, Harry. Hey, Harry! Remember me, Ron Weasley? That slimy Slytherin Draco Malfoy ran through this door with an owl under his arm. I think it was your owl Hedwig. Let's go after him. Come on, Harry. Let's find Hedwig. Well, well, well. If it isn't the famous Harry Potter. I'm Draco Malfoy, and you do well to show me respect. Looking for that owl of yours? How careless of you to leave it lying about. Go home to your mother, Potter. Oh, sorry. You don't have one, do you? He's a nasty piece of work. Just ignore him. Us Gryffindors should stick together. <sighs> Come on, Harry, follow me. To climb up. <laughs> Let's go. <sighs> follow me. Mm. To jump. 
Look. Hello, Harry Potter. My name is Nearly Headless Nick, and I am the Gryffindor House Ghost. Look how tall this room is. Well, I mean, you must go all the way to the top to get out. If you want to look around, press your triangle button. Press the... Ah, some snails have escaped from a Care of Magical Creatures class. Careful, they are dreadfully poisonous. Press the cross button to cast the Flipendo knockback and chinks from your wand. That should... And watch out for the... Press the triangle button to view. You can also see what you can find. Hello again. Did you notice that those things? Are this is a to move the. Well, you've made it a tall jinx to cast a charm. I'm Neville Longbottom. Malfoy led me down here and then ran through a secret passage with an owl. Now I'm trapped by these enchanted books. I've lost my wand, so I can't knock the books out of the way with Flipendo. Use the R1 button to point your wand at...